cover your ears and close your eyes right now for the next few minutes of this video. I'm going to try something and my motivation inside my head is they used to seal uh, sailboats ancient, in ancient times with pine tar and that would seal water out. I've got some gaps here that I'm a little bit concerned with that it could show through. So I've come up with my own pine tar and basically I'm going to put black caulk on the inside of some of these planks. Once I put a layer of that caulk there, I'm hoping that it will cover any imperfections that I might have, a little gap that might show through because I've got black caulk. I've developed my technique a little better by putting the black caulk on a pallet, so to speak. Then I can get a dab and work this in much better. And when I get to a spot that I need just a smaller tool, I used a plank, put a little dab on it, and I was able to work it into there. Now the other side I planked up a little bit too much, so I may not be able to get it over there. Let's let me get a smaller amount. No, so I'm just going to skip that side or try and work it over from this side. I've got a little cleanup right here. I'm going to scrape it with this knife to get the bulk off. Then any light residue that will sand off, I'm hoping. So you can see where I've coated all along the edge. And you can see some of the black in here, but as I sand that down, I think that's going to be hidden. Or if anything, it'll be just darker. I prefer that over an actual hole looking into the hull of the ship. So let me continue planking and um, we'll see what the finished product looks like. So as you can see, I'm making progress on planking. I've done some of the sanding. I still have a ways to go, but it's coming along pretty well. Still have a little bit of planking to do on this side. Well, let me show you how I got to this point. Using the uh, black caulk is actually working pretty well. So what I've started doing is sanding some of this wood off because it really was at different layers and sticking out kind of funny. So I just want to make sure this was going to work. It's working pretty well. So all I do is I, since I don't have a lot of equipment, I hook my drill up in this vise and just squeeze it until it turns on. I think you can see I'm making progress. There's still a few unlevel areas, but I'll keep sanding until I get it to where I want. And to me, it's okay if it's a little rough looking. I think that adds to the natural look. I wanted to mention on this bending tool, and if you do soak the plank, I was able to get a very strong bend. So what I'm going to do is take this plank once I get the, all the planks on, and that just happens to fit back there just about perfectly. So that'll give me a, a nice finished look on the back of the ship. Covering up that slight shortage. I've been working on this U-shaped piece of wood that I'm going to put on the back of the ship. And what I've done, I've, I've sanded this so it 
is uh, slanted, beveled, whatever you want to refer to it as. So it'll fit in a little better over this back part. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place. And then on the back side, what I'll do in here is put some planking strips across after I get this glued in place. I'm going to use a more of a traditional glue because I want to have more time to get it exactly where I want it. I don't know if you can see there's a gap here, but I'll be able to fill that in or maybe even push that in later. But that's where I'll put the wood slats across over to fill any gap. So I finished up on this band I was talking about worked out pretty well and then there's another thing that I've done and you may have noticed it on the corners where there are seams I've got some uh, looks like braided they're actually gold in color also on the base of the control center and I'm also going to band it right around here and what I've used is this cord that I will also use for some of the roping on the ship and I coated it with uh, metallic acrylic paint golden color and what I will do is right along there I'm gonna put that band and I also, or one of the two, I'll either put it there or I'll put it back here and have it match the back of the ship just to cover up any errors. So anyway, I've used this quite a bit different places. I think I kind of like it right there. Give you an idea what that'll look like. Oops. So that'll be it for this segment. I will return once I get all the planking done. I'll get it finished sanded. And then we'll start putting some of the equipment on deck of the ship. Again, this is Boiler Dan 1, where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And as always, thanks for watching.